I want to take this opportunity to welcome each one of you to Gospel Outreach Church in Salgan. Gospel Outreach Church in Salgan is situated along the Nakuru Eldoret Highway. As you are getting to Salgan, on your right hand side, after Penn's Lodge, there you find Gospel Outreach Salgan. You can also uh, use Google Map to get to Gospel Outreach Salga. Our services are always on Sunday as from 9 a.m. That is our first service. Our second service is from 11 a.m. to 12.30 uh, p.m. And God bless you as you visit us. Praise the name of the Lord. Tuombe tunapo shiriki neno. Baba katika jina la Yesu Kristo tunakuabudu tunakuinua subu ya leo. Kwa sabu wewe peke ni mungu ambaye unatuezesha, ni mungu ambaye utitia nguvu, ni mungu ambaye biblia ntombaye kwamba nema yako inatosha kila wakati. Asante bwana kwa sababu ya wakati huu ambapo tunaenda kushiriki neno lako bwana tunaomba ya kwamba wacha kibali chako kiwe pamoja nasi ukatupe ufunuo wako kuhusu neno lako e bwana yeyote yule ambaye anasikiliza uh, sauti hii sineno yeye ambaye anasikiliza neno lako bwana wacha akapate kutoka kwako e Mungu wetu ukapewa sifa na utukufu kwa sababu wewe pekee ni Mungu na hakuna kama wewe tunakuinua tuna tunakubariki na hata tunakuabudu asubuhi ya leo katika jina la Yesu Kristo tunaomba tukiamini amen tunataka kuwakaribisha sisi wote ambao tunasikiliza sauti hii hapa kanisani na wale ambao wanatusikiliza kule kwenye mtandao uh, tupate kushiriki pamoja tunapo uh, shiriki meza hii ya Bwana ambaye ametuandalia Bwana asubuhi uh, ya leo Bwana asifiwe katika siku ya leo uh, kuna mambo kadhaa ambayo tunataka kujifunza kuna mambo kadhaa ambayo tunataka kujifunza kutoka kwenye Biblia tunataka kwamba katika maisha mambo mengi hutukumba nikakumbuka uh, story ama hadithi ya mtu mmoja ambaye kwenye Biblia aliitwa Hana na Hana tukaambiwa kwamba akaishi miaka mingi bila mtoto bwana asifiwe Lakini kuna siku moja ambapo Mungu alimtembelea. Na Mungu alipomtembelea Biblia inatuambia kwamba alipopata mtoto Samueli hakukaa nyumbani ila alienda kule kwenye, uh, kwenye uh, kanisa kisha akapata mtumishi wa Mungu kule na akaonekana kwamba anajinenea. Bwana asifiwe. Alipoonekana hivyo Biblia inatuambia kwamba kuna wimbo ambao aliuimba moyoni Bwana asifiwe. Kuna wimbo aliyotoa ambao ulikuwa kumsifu Mungu. Bwana asifiwe. Tunaposoma Samueli wa kwanza mbili. First Samuel 2 from verses 1. Samuel inasema kwamba and Hannah prayed and said, my heart rejoices in the Lord, my horn is exalted in the Lord. I smile at my enemies because i rejoice in your salvation verse 2 no one is holy like the lord for there is none besides you nor is there any rock like our god bwana asifiwe ana anasema ya kwamba hamna mwamba mwingine amkando na mungu bwana asifiwe hakuna jiwe lingine ambalo lina nguvu zaidi juu uh, ju ya jiwe kama mwamba kama bwana mungu wake bwana asifiwe siku ya leo tunataka kujifunza kitu kuhusu kutazamia jiwe ulilotolewa katika sehemu hii tunasoma Isaiah 51 mstari wa kwanza Isaiah 51 mstari wa kwanza inasema kwamba listen to me you who follow after righteousness you who seek the lord look to the rock from which you were hewn and to the hole of pit from which you were dug bwana asifiwe biblia inatuambia kwamba isaia katika sehemu hii anawaambia wale ambao watafuta haki bwana asifiwe namna ambavyo tumekuja kanisani leo kulilia mungu ambaye ni mwenye haki Bwana asifiwe. Na Biblia inatuambia kwamba 
katika sehemu hii inatuambia kwamba wewe kama mwenye haki angalia tafuta Mungu tafuta Bwana lakini pia tazama kwenye jiwe ambalo ulichongwa kutoka kwalo Bwana asifiwe kisha inatuambia kwamba vile vile kumbuka shimo ambalo ulilokuwa umetolewa Bwana asifiwe katika maisha ya sasa utaona kwamba kuna mashimo mengi ambayo tunayopatikana kuna mashimo mengi ambayo tunapitia kuna mashimo mengi katika maisha ya binadamu ambayo yanakufanya uone kama Mungu ako mbali pamoja nawe Bwana asifiwe lakini Isaya siku ya leo anatukumbusha ya kwamba wewe mwenye haki sio mtu yeyote Bwana asifiwe anasema ya kwamba wewe haki tazama jiwe ambalo ulilotolewa kwalo tazama jiwe ambalo ulichongwa kutoka kwalo bwana asifiwe na pia ukumbuke shimo ambalo Mungu amekutoa je ni shimo gani ambalo umeona kwamba Mungu alikutoa kwalo ama siku ya leo unapitia shimo gani bwana asifiwe na katika shimo hili tunakumbusha kwamba suluhisho sio kwingine ila ni kwenye jiwe ambalo tulichongwa kutoka kwalo bwana asifiwe na kwa hivyo siku ya leo tunajiuliza je jiwe hili ambalo mimi nilichongwa kutoka kwalo ni lipi je ni hard rock ama ni hero kwingine ya kawaida ama ni ballast ambayo inatumika kupoweka simiti kwenye nyumba bwana asifiwe lakini biblia inatuambia kwamba katika wakorintho wa kwanza katika wakorintho wa kwanza kumi nne wakorintho wa kwanza kumi nne all the same all ate the same spiritual food for and all drank the same spiritual drink for they drank of that spiritual rock that followed them and that rock was Christ bwana asifiwe kwa hivyo siku ya leo tunajifunza ya kwamba rock ambayo tunaangalia Jiwe ambalo tunaangalia ni Yesu Kristo. Jiwe ambalo lilikuwa na wana Israeli walipokuwa kule jangwani. Aliwafuata kama wingu. Aliwapa kivuli wakati wa jua na kuangazia wakati ambapo kulikuwa na giza. Na Biblia inatuambia kwamba Yesu Kristo ndiye mwanga wa maisha. Bwana asifiwe. Na hivyo siku ya leo tunatazama uh, lile jiwe ambalo wana Israeli walikuwa wamefuatana nalo ama lilikuwa limewatunza wana Israeli kwenye jangwa kwa miaka mingi miaka 40 bwana asifiwe kisha tunaambia kwamba wewe ambao unapitia kwenye pit kwenye shimo tazama jiwe ambalo ulichongwa kutoka kwalo bwana asifiwe tazama Kristo ambaye alikuokoa Bwana asifiwe. Na hivyo siku ya leo tunajifunza ya kwamba kuna jiwe ambalo ulitoka kwalo na usijitenge na hili jiwe kwa sababu ndilo ambalo ni nguvu yako. Bwana asifiwe. Yeye ndiye jiwe atutiaye nguvu. Haleluya. Kisha katika sehemu hii tunajifunza mambo muhimu. Uh, kuna mambo muhimu matatu manne hivi ambayo tutakitaka kujifunza kwa nini tutazamie jiwe. Mbona inatusaidia nini? Ama katika sehemu hii tunataka kujifunza namna ya kutazamia jiwe kabla ya kwenda kwa nini tutazamie jiwe bwana asifiwe kwa nini tum, namna ambavyo tunafaa kumtazamia Yesu Kristo tunatumia njia gani kama mwenye haki ni mbinu gani utakayotumia ili uweze kutazamia lile jiwe ambalo tumeona kwamba ni Yesu Kristo aliyewaangazia wana Israeli aliyewatunza wana Israeli na tunaambia kwamba viatu za miguu yao ama ya nyayo yao haikuisha kwa miaka 40 ni hali gani hii ambayo unaona kwamba imekufikisha mwisho kama wana Israeli hawakuishiwa hawa viatu na mavazi kwa miaka 40 hali gani hii ambayo ni neno ngumu bwana asifiwe katika sehemu hii kitu cha kwanza ambayo tunafaa kutambua ni kwamba tembea katika haki ya Mungu bwana asifiwe tembea katika haki ya Mungu katika aizaya hamsina moja biblia inatuambia kwamba uh, listen to me you who follow after righteousness sikilizeni nyinyi mnaotafuta haki You who seek the Lord, nyinyi mnao tafuta Mungu, look to the rock from which you are hewn. Bwana asifiwe. Na kwa hivyo kabla uangalie lile jiwe, kabla utafute lile jiwe ulilotolewa kwalo, kitu cha kwanza tembea katika uhaki. Bwana asifiwe. Walk in righteousness. Bwana asifiwe. And to the hole from uh, and the hole of the pit from which you are dug. 
kabla uangalie kwingine kumbuka katika unapotembea uhaki je ni shimo gani hili ambalo ulitoka usirudi huko tena bwana asifiwe ulitolewa kwenye shimo gani usirudi huko tena ili uweze kutembea katika uhaki bwana asifiwe kisha katika sehemu hii pia kuna hadithi nyingine ambayo inanifurahisha katika biblia katika judges 13 Judges 13 waamuzi 13 kuanzia mstari wa 4 hadi wa 5 Katika sehemu hii uh, Biblia inatuambia kuhusu jamaa mmoja ambaye aliitwa Manoa Katika Biblia Manoa tunaambia kwamba aliishi na mkeo kwa muda mrefu bila kupata mtoto namna ambavyo Hana pia aliishi kwa muda mrefu bila kupata mtoto lakini mwisho alipata nani Samueli Sehemu hii Biblia inatuambia kwamba nazungumzia kutembea kwa uhaki Bwana asifiwe hiyo hoja ya uhaki Biblia inatuambia kwamba basi sasa jihadhari na kuomba usinywe divai wala kileo wala usile kitu kilicho na jisi Bwana asifiwe Inasema ya kwamba basi sasa jihadhari na kuomba usinywe divai wala kileo wala usile kitu kilicho na jisi bwana asifiwe hapa mamake samsoni ametembelewa na malaika wa Mungu na anampa njia ambayo itamwezesha yeye kumleta samsoni ambaye atatumika na Mungu kutekeleza haki dhidi ya Wafilisti bwana asifiwe na biblia inatuambia kwamba ili samsoni aweze kuzaliwa kama mtoto mwenye haki lazima mamake atekeleze yafuatayo lazima mamake afanye mambo yafuatayo swala la kwanza ni kwamba ajihadhari asinywe divai bwana asifiwe katika uh, kitabu cha Proverbs Biblia inatuambia kwamba divai au pombe ni ya wale waangami yao Bwana asifiwe kama Mkristo unayetembea katika uhaki lazima ujitem, ujitenge na divai lazima ujitenge na vitu ambavyo vinalewesha Bwana asifiwe je ni kitu gani katika maisha yako ambayo una kwamba kimechukua nafasi ya Mungu kimekulewesha hadi huoni nafasi ya Mungu hauna nafasi ya Mungu katika maisha yako Bwana asifiwe hicho kitu mamake Samson anaambiwa kwamba ajitenge nacho kisha Biblia inatuambia kwamba uh, wala usile kitu kilicho na jisi Bwana asifiwe ni kitu gani katika maisha yetu ambacho kinatutia na jisi? Ni kitu gani hiki ambacho kinatutia uchafu ambao unatufanya tusio wenye haki mbele ya Mungu? Bwana asifiwe. Kwa hivyo siku ya leo tujihoji, tuji, tukae chini. Kuna kuna, kuna msemo kule mtaani unasema kwamba unaitisha mkutano wako binafsi. Bwana asifiwe. Unapokaa siku ya leo call a meeting meeting si watu wengi wewe na nafsi yako bwana asifiwe na ujiulize je ni kitu gani hiki ambacho kinefanya niwe na jisi mbele ya Mungu nisiweze kutembea katika uhaki mbele ya Mungu bwana asifiwe na unapotambua kitu hicho ndipo ambapo utaweza kutoka katika shimo ambalo jiwe lilikutoka lilikutoa ndani bwana asifiwe kisha katika sehemu hii pia tunaambiwa kuhusu lenga kwenye mwamba sio umati ili uweze kuutazamia mwamba ili so that you can focus on the rock lazima ulenge kwenye mwamba sio umati ambao unatembea nao bwana asifiwe tunaambiwa kuhusu hadithi ya Batimayo bwana asifiwe katika kitabu cha Mariko 10:46 Mark 10:46 inatuambia kuhusu mtu ambaye alitwa Batmayo aliyekuwa kipofu na Biblia inatuambia kwamba now they came to Jericho as he went out of Jericho with his disciples and a great multitude blind Batmayas the son of Timaeus sat by the road begging for seven And when he heard that it was Jesus of Nazareth he began to cry out and say Jesus son of David have mercy on me 48 Then many warned him 
to be quiet, but he cried out all the more, Son of David, have mercy on me. Bwana asifiwe. Kwa hivyo, umati uliambia batmayo anyamaze. Bwana asifiwe. Uli munyamazisha. Wakati mwingine, tunakuwa tumefocus kwa Yesu Kristo. Lakini rafiki anakuambia wewe nini una waste time na mambo ya kanisa. Bwana asifiwe. Nini mbaya una focus sana kwa ushirika. Bwana asifiwe. Ni nini mama ambacho kimekuwa umati katika maisha yako? Nini ambacho kimekuwa umati katika maisha yako wewe ndugu? Nini ambacho kimekuwa umati maisha mwako kama kijana? Bwana asifiwe. Leo kauli, ukauliza maisha yako. Ukajihoji leo. Ukajiulize ni nini hiki ambacho kimekuwa umati katika maisha yangu ambacho kina keep on shouting, kinapaza sauti, kinakwambia kwamba wewe nyamaza. Kitu ambacho nafaa kusema leo ni kwamba e Yesu the rock that I was hewn from wewe mwangba ambao nilichongwa kutoka kwake kuwa na rehema kwangu bwana asifiwe have mercy on me bwana asifiwe na kwa hivyo leo tunaambiwa kwamba but mayo aliamua hata sikiliza umati alipaza sauti akasema ewe Yesu son of David have mercy on me kwa hivyo leo tunasema ya kwamba wacha batmayo aliye ndani mwako akapaze sauti kwa Yesu Kristo akapaze sauti kwa mwamba ambao ulichongwa kutoka kwako bwana asifiwe ukautazamie huu mwamba mwaka huu wote ambao tunaishi bwana asifiwe kama mkristo mwenye haki tazamia Yesu Kristo ambao ni mwamba wako bwana asifiwe kisha uh, tunaambiwa kuhusu vile vile soma neno la Mungu ili tutazame huu mwamba lazima tusome neno la Mungu we should study the word of god biblia inatuambia katika kitabu cha Sam, zaburi psalms 119 psalms 119 unajua wakati mwingine vijana wanajiuliza mimi biblia itanisaidia namna gani bwana asifiwe Alafu inatoa Biblia inatuambia kwamba how can a young man cleanse his way by taking heed according to your word Bwana asifiwe ya kwamba kijana atatembeaje katika uhaki ni kwa kusikiliza neno la Mungu Bwana asifiwe Kisha Joshua naye akaambiwa Joshua 1:8 Joshua 1:8 1:8 Biblia inatuambia kwamba this book of the law shall not depart from your mouth but you shall meditate in it day and night that you may observe to do according to all that's written in it for then you will make your way prosperous and then you will have good success bwana asifiwe wewe kama mtu mwenye haki neno lazima liwe sehemu yako bwana asifiwe ya kwamba iwapo unataka mtu anayefaulu kwa kitu ambacho tutafanya Biblia inatuambia kwamba baada ya Musa kuaga dunia Mungu anamuinua Yoshua na anamwambia kwamba kitu muhimu ambacho lazima awe nacho ni neno Bwana asifiwe ya kwamba hili neno lisitoke kinywani mwako Bwana asifiwe neno halitakuwa kinywani mwako iwapo hutasoma hilo neno Bwana asifiwe. Iwapo utakuwa na wakati wa kupitia hilo neno, hutakuwa na neno kinywani mwako. Bwana asifiwe. Na hivyo kama Mkristo mwenye haki, ni muhimu sana tuangalie neno, tusome neno, tukule neno. Biblia inatuambia kwamba neno ni mkate wa uzima. Bwana asifiwe. Na hilo neno ambalo tunazungumzia bado ndilo mwamba kwa sababu Biblia inatuambia kwamba hapo mwanzo palikuepo neno. Bwana asifiwe. Hiyo ni John 1. Nitaambia kwamba hapo mwanzo kulikuepo nini? Neno. Nalo neno lilifanyika mwili. Mm. Mtu amesema mwili. Haya, utaenda kusoma hapo. Lakini na, na, katika sehemu hiyo John nasema kwamba in the beginning was the word and the word was with God and the word was God. Bwana asifiwe. Kwa hivyo neno lilikuwa Mungu. Lakini katika sehemu ya pili nitaambia kwamba lilifanyika mwili likaja kwetu kutufanya nini kutuokoa bwana asifiwe kwa hivyo hilo neno ambalo tunazungumzia ndio mwamba ambao ulitolewa kwake na hilo neno ndilo ambalo wewe kama mwenye haki unafaa kula ili upate nguvu ya kusimama bwana asifiwe na ndivyo ambavyo biblia inaambia nani 
Joshua ya kwamba neno hili lilitoke kinywani mwako. Bwana asifiwe. Kisha tafuta uso wa Bwana. Tafuta uso wa Bwana katika maombi. Tafuta uso wa Bwana katika maombi. Biblia inatuambia katika Mathayo 6:33 kwamba tafuta uh, ufalme wa Mungu ama ufalme wake na mengine yote utazidishiwa. 6:33 Sita, that three. Inasema kwamba but seek first the, the kingdom of God and his righteousness and all these things shall be added to you. Kwa hivyo tafuta kwanza ufalme wa Mungu, tafute Mungu kwanza, alafu mengine yote utazidishiwa. Katika Zaburi 9:10 Zaburi 9:10 Biblia inatuambia katika sehemu ya kwamba sehemu ya pili for you Lord have not forsaken those who seek you. Bwana asifiwe. Sehemu ya pili pale inasema kwamba for you Lord have not forsaken those who seek you. Wewe umtafutaye Mungu hutaachwa. Bwana asifiwe. Bwana atakuwa kwako kila wakati unapomtafuta. Na ndipo Biblia inatuambia kwamba tafuta na utapata. Bwana asifiwe. Bisha na itafunguliwa. Bwana asifiwe. Kwa hivyo katika sehemu hii tunasema ya kwamba ili uwe yule ambaye iwe yule ambaye ana utazamia mwamba Yesu Kristo lazima uwe pia mtu unayemtafuta huwezi kuwa na uhusiano na mwamba huwezi kuwa na uhusiano na Yesu Kristo bila kumtafuta hata rafiki tunapokuwa na rafiki na mahali fulani lazima ungie simu bwana asifiwe katika nyakati tunazoishi lazima kuwe na communication na kuwewe kama Mkristo mwenye haki communication yako na huyo Mungu unayemtarajia au unayemwaminia ni kupitia maombi Bwana asifiwe seek the face of God through prayer Bwana asifiwe kisha tunaambiwa vile vile kwamba hudumu mbele za Bwana uh, hudumu mbele za Bwana Deuteronomy Deuteronomy 10:12 Deuteronomy 10:12 Serve the Lord. Inasema ya kwamba and now Israel what does the Lord uh, your God require of you but to fear the Lord your God to walk in all his ways and to love him to serve the Lord your God with all your heart and with all your soul. Bwana asifiwe. That part underline to serve the Lord your God with all your heart and with all your soul we are required as people who seek righteousness to serve the Lord our God with all our hearts na moyo wetu wote vile vile nisambia kwamba with all your soul bwana asifiwe kwa hivyo wakati ambapo tutataka kujenga uhusiano na jiwe tulilotolewa kwalo Tunapotaka kujenga uhusiano na the rock ambayo ni Yesu Kristo lazima pia tuwe tayari kumtumikia Bwana asifiwe na mioyo yetu yote ni mara ngapi ambapo umetarajiwa kutumikia Mungu na hukupatikana Bwana asifiwe ni wakati gani ambapo Yesu alitarajia kwamba utamtumikia kwa hali fulani na hukupatikana Bwana asifiwe Siku ya leo nitaka kutia changamoto kwamba upatikane utumike katika nyumba ya Mungu. Upatikane utumike na this rock that we are talking about. Bwana asifiwe. Uweze kumtumikia the rock. Uweze kumtumikia Jesus Christ your savior. Bwana asifiwe. He is the rock of ages. Nakumbuka wimbo mwingine katika shule upili walikuwa tunaimba inaimbaje rock eh ah hmm. so chukua mic inasema rock of ages left for me let me hide myself in in thee ya kwamba nikajificha ndani yako mwamba imara katika Kiswahili wanasema mwamba uli imara kwako nitajificha Mhm Amen. Kwa hivyo tunasema ya kwamba tafuta uso wa Bwana. He is the rock of ages. Bwana asifiwe. Kisha 
Tumesema kwamba serve the Lord with all your heart with all your soul. Bwana asifiwe. Kisha uh, kwa dakika chache sana tutapomalizia tunataka kujiuliza mbona tutazamie mwamba. Why should we look to the rock of ages? Why should we look unto Jesus Christ who is the rock of ages? Why? Inatusaidia nini? Katika wimbo ambao nilitaja wimbo wa Daudi in uh, 2 Samuel 22. 2 Samuel 22 Daudi baada ya kukumbana na maadui anaimba wimbo ambao ni wa kumsifu Mungu anasema ya kwamba then david spoke to the lord the words of this song on the day when the lord had delivered him from the hand of all his enemies and from the hand of Saul bwana asifiwe baada ya daudi kuwashinda maadui wake baada ya, ya, ya daudi kumshinda sauli aliimba wimbo wa kumtukuza mungu katika verse 2 anasema and he said the lord is my rock and my fortress and my deliverer bwana asifiwe so we have to seek the relationship with god ama with the rock because he is our fortress he is our deliverer bwana asifiwe yeye ndiye ngome yetu yeye ndiye atu atuokoaye bwana asifiwe kutoka katika mikono ya watesi bwana asifiwe hali ambayo unapitia biblia inatuambia kwamba the lord is our rock and our fortress and our deliverer Bwana asifiwe ya kwamba Yesu Kristo ni ngome ni mwamba wetu he is a fortress ni ngome yetu kisha pia ndiye ambaye ambaye ana deliver he delivers us bwana asifiwe so today as we sit in his presence in the situation that we are going through it's good to remember that the lord is our fortress he is the rock on which we are established on bwana asifiwe Twende katika Psalms Psalms 40 Psalms 40 um, Psalms 40 verses 2 Psalms 40 verse 2 Inasema kwamba he also brought up brought me up out of a horrible pit out of the mary clay and set my feet upon a rock and established my steps bwana asifiwe ya kwamba daudi anatusema ya kwamba wakati alipitia hali ngumu biblia inatuambia kwamba yeye alitazamia mungu na biblia inatuambia kwamba alipomtazamia mungu baada ya kumlia katika maombi biblia inatuambia kwamba alimtoa katika shimo la mateso a horrible pit shimo ambalo likuwa la uchafu bwana asifiwe mara nyingi tumelia mungu kaniondolee hali hii uko katika shimo ambalo unaona kwamba huwezi toka biblia inatuambia kwamba in verse 1 hapo inatuambia kwamba and he looked and the lord i waited patiently for the lord and he inclined to me and heard my cry bwana asifiwe can we look to the lord tumtazamie mungu uh, kwa Tumtazamie Mungu kisha pia na Mungu Biblia inatuambia kwamba atatusikia He will incline to us yule hali ya kuincline mtu mtu ambaye yuko tayari kukusikia Bwana asifiwe anatega masikio kusikia wakati ambapo naita and he heard my cry Bwana asifiwe Mungu atasikiliza kilio ambacho nakilia siku ya leo Bwana asifiwe Biblia inatuambia kwamba and he heard my cry He will hear your cry this day. Bwana asifiwe. What are you crying of? Na ndio sababu verses 2 inasema ya kwamba verse 2 inasema ya kwamba He also brought me up out of a horrible pit. Baada ya kusikilizwa, Biblia inatuambia kwamba alimtoa kwenye shimo ambalo lilikuwa la mauti. Bwana asifiwe. Out of a mary clay, katika udongo wa utelezi. Bwana asifiwe. Udongo ambao hangefanya hatua. Lakini Biblia inatuambia kwamba Mungu alimtoa katika udongo huo wa utelezi na akamweka kwenye mwamba ambao ulikuwa imara. And he established his feet. Bwana asifiwe. Kwa hivyo siku ya leo ni utelezi gani ambao tunapitia katika maisha? Ni ugumu gani ni ugumu gani ambao unamshinda Mungu? Bwana asifiwe. He is the rock of ages. Na Biblia inatuambia kwamba he will establish our feet. Bwana asifiwe. So trust on this God. 
Trust on this rock. Trust on Jesus Christ, our rock. And he will establish our feet. He will remove us out of the muddy clay. Atatutoa katika udongo wa utelezi na atuweke katika mwamba ambao ni imara. Na maisha yetu hayatasalia kuwa sawa tena. Bwana asifiwe. Kwa hivyo siku ya leo tunapokuwa tunajihoji. Tumepewa changamoto ya kujihoji. Tujiulize ni utelezi gani ambao unapitia? Tazamia Mungu katika hali ambayo tunapitia. Bwana asifiwe. Kisha uh, vile vile He is our fortress, our fortress and our deliverer. That's uh second Samuel. Uh, tumesoma vile vile Psalms 18:2 bado inatueleza he is our fortress and our deliverer. He strengthens us. Bwana ambaye tunamtazamia kama jiwe au mwamba yeye hututia nguvu. Na ndiposa katika Psalms Psalm 62:7 Psalm 62:7 Psalm 62:7 Biblia inatuambia namna ambavyo in God uh, in God if in God my salvation and my glory the rock of my strength and my refuge is in God Bwana asifiwe Biblia inatuambia kwamba the rock of my strength and my refuge is in God Bwana asifiwe Kwa hivyo jiwe ambalo likutialo nguvu ni lile jiwe ulilochongwa kutoka kwalo na ndiyo sababu muhimu sana wewe kutazamia hili jiwe ili likutia nguvu wakati hauna nguvu. Bwana asifiwe. Can you look to the rock so that your strength can be restored? Bwana asifiwe. He makes his mercies are new every morning. Bwana asifiwe. Na kwa hivyo siku ya leo nataka kutukumbusha kama waumini wa kanisa hili, kama mtu unayetusikiliza kwenye mtandao, ya kwamba don't give up. For the strength of your heart, of what you are going through is in your rock. Bwana asifiwe. Hali ambayo unapitia nguvu zako zitoe kwenye mwamba ambao ni imara. Bwana asifiwe. He is our refuge and he is our God. Bwana asifiwe. Trust upon God and he will reestablish, he will re-strengthen you once more. Bwana asifiwe. The last part, he quenches our thirst. He quenches our thirst. Wakati ambapo tunaona kwamba tuna kiu cha hali fulani. Una kiu cha nini leo? Biblia inatuambia kwamba he will quench our thirst in Psalms 114:8 Psalms 114:8 Psalms 114:8 Psalms 114:8 The Bible says, "Who turned the rock into a pool of water?" the flint into a fountain of waters bwana asifiwe wakati ambapo hadithi inaanzia kwenye exodus wakati ambapo wana israeli wametembea kumbuka kwamba yesu anaambia mama msamaria ya kwamba he is the water na ukikunywa maji haya hautahisi kiu tena bwana asifiwe wakati ambapo wa israeli wametembea kwenye jangwa na hakukuwa na maji aliyeongoza msa anaambia kwamba Aupige kwenye mwamba. Kwanza haki haikuwa apige, aweke fimbo kwenye mwamba na maji yatatoka. Lakini katika sehemu hii tuambiwa kwamba jiwe hili hutupa maji. He quenches our thirst. He turns the rock into a pool of water, the flint into a fountain of waters. Bwana asifiwe. So, which thirst are you having today? Una kiu cha nini leo? Tazamia the rock of ages and he will quench your thirst. Atakata kiu chako na hutasikia kiu tena cha hali unayopitia. Bwana asifiwe. Kisha katika sehemu hiyo pia utaangalia Isaiah 33:16. Isaiah 33:16. Ah uh, tunapomalizia Isaiah 33:16 tutamalizia katika sehemu hiyo ya why we should look the rock of ages. He will deliver uh, he will dwell on high he he will dwell on high his place of defense will be the fortress of rocks bread will be given him his water will be sure bwana asifiwe kwa hivyo wakati ambapo umejengwa kwenye mwamba imara tunaambia kwamba bread will be given to you his water will be sure you are assured of water 
Bwana asifiwe. Uko na hakika kwamba hutakosa maji na kwa hivyo the thirst that you are feeling today will not feel it anymore. Bwana asifiwe. So can you establish your life on the rock? Bwana asifiwe. Can you create a relationship with this rock? Can you create a relationship with Jesus Christ? He is the rock and the Bible says bread will be given to him. His water will be sure. You are assured of the supply of water. Bwana asifiwe. Kwa hivyo tunapomalizia uh Tusimame. Tusimame. Tumesoma katika Psalms 40 ya kwamba he will establish us atatutoa katika mdongo wa utelezi na atuweke katika mwamba imara. Bwana asifiwe. I want us to pray. I want us to pray together as we wish as we seek God that he will establish our lives on the rock. Bwana asifiwe kwamba atutoe katika shimo ambalo ni la mauti atujenge katika mwamba imara bwana asifiwe speak to god this day the pit going through this day that god will get us it bwana asifiwe ya kwamba tutajengwa katika mwamba imara let's pray baba katika jina la Yesu Kristo tunakushukuru tunakuabudu kwa sababu wewe pekee ni mwamba imara Hakuna aliye anayefananisha nawe Jehovah. You are the rock of ages, O oh God. You are our strength, O King of Kings. The Bible says, O King of Kings, that Father, you take our battles, O oh God. How we pray as a church this morning, O oh Jehovah, that each one of us, O oh God, in the pit that we are in, in the mary clay that we are on, O oh Jehovah, that you are establishing our feet again, O oh King of Kings, even as we seek, O oh God, to be established on the rock. God mighty and everlasting Father, you who is the Alpha and the Omega, you who knows the end from the beginning, O King of Kings. The Bible says you are the bright morning star, O Jehovah. You are, O King of Kings, uh, our provider, O Jehovah. How we pray this morning, O King of Kings, that you are meeting at the desires of our people, O God. You are meeting the desires of that mom, O King of Kings, who is carrying a burden of the family, O Jehovah, that she is crying unto you this morning, O God, that Father, may you carry this burden for her, O God, that you are making a way for profession, that you are making a way for financial breakthrough, in this family in the name of Jesus Christ for the bible says silver and gold belongs to you o oh god how we pray that father you who owns a thousand cows on the hill o oh god you making a way unto this family o oh jehovah in the name of Jesus Christ we thank you god for that youth o oh god the bible has told us o oh king of kings a youth shall walk in your ways by trusting on your word we pray for the life of this youth o oh god that father you shall establish their feet on the rock. Oh Jehovah, we trust upon you this morning for Lord mighty and healing, oh King of Kings. Lord, you are our healer. The Bible says, oh God, by the stripes of Jesus Christ, we are healed, oh God. I want to speak healing upon anyone, oh King of Kings, that's listening to us online, that's within us this morning, oh God, and they are feeling weak in flesh, oh God. I want to speak healing upon their bodies in the name of Jesus Christ. Lord, mighty and everlasting Father, the Bible says, O oh God, your word never comes to us and go back to you in void, O oh God. But it will accomplish the purpose you have set upon us, upon them that have listened to you, O oh God. How we pray that, Father, you shall cause this word, O oh God, to come and, might Father, be established in our lives and bear fruits in our lives. O oh, King of Kings, have your way, mighty Father. Establish our nation. Stand for our nation, O oh God. Speak peace upon this nation in the name of Jesus Christ. We worship you, God, because you are mighty. Thank you, God, because of secondary schools, O oh God. You want to speak calm, O oh God. You who spoke calm upon the seas, I want to speak calm upon secondary schools that no more riots, O oh King of Kings, in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, remember these youths. As they shape their lives, O oh God, you are shaping their spiritual lives. You are shaping with them, O oh King of Kings. You are standing for their parents, O oh God, in the name of Jesus Christ. We worship you, God. We give you glory and honor because you alone, you are the Lord and God, your mighty Father. There is none like you, God. 
have your way in this church, oh God. Remember each member, oh God. Remember our pastors, oh King of Kings. Mighty and everlasting Father, we pray that God, they shall not lack, oh King of Kings, but you shall provide unto them, oh King of Kings. We thank you and we worship you because you're mighty and everlasting. In Jesus' name, we pray and believe. Amen. Thank you.